let this be a lesson to all of you. Read, if you get a contract or something, read, read the fine print. Read, read the fine print whenever you get something. Um, re read the terms of service when you sign up for something because Lincoln Riley, are you leaving? Guys, guys, I'm telling you, I'm not leaving for LSU. I'm not leaving for LSU. Well, he told the truth. He didn't leave for LSU, but he did leave for USC. Southern California has scooped up Lincoln Riley. They've lured him away from Oklahoma with a... Now, the details of the contract are not out, but I would assume just a stupid amount of money. Let's look at his current contract with Oklahoma. Let's let's see what his current contract at Oklahoma is. It says the full details of the contract are being worked out. You know what he saw? Lincoln Riley saw that his team just got beaten by their in-state rival. And he goes 10 and 2. I mean, not a bad season, but disappointing for Oklahoma standards. He's like I'm not going to survive in the SEC. I'm getting the hell out and dipping to the Pac-12. Wow. Pe people are saying that LSU offered him $12 million a year. God, that's so much money. <laughs> I need that kind of... Oh, my goodness. That is so much money. People are saying that... Uh, People are saying Oklahoma's going to hire Cliff Kingsbury from the Cardinals to be the replacement. I mean, maybe. But now, what does this mean for Oklahoma? It's not looking good going to the going to the going to the SEC. I don't know. I I wouldn't. I would not be happy if I'm an Oklahoma fan going to the SEC. And I mean, everyone's talking about how bad Texas is going to be in the ACC. But Texas, you know, they're starting to develop some stuff under a new coach. Maybe they'll be all right. Oklahoma just lost their coach. So whoever comes in is going to have uh, – whoever whoever comes in there for Oklahoma is going to have their work cut out for them. But let's talk about USC. What does this mean for USC? Well, they – were one of four teams this year to start the season ranked and not make a bowl game. <laughs> In case you're wondering, the, those four teams are USC, Washington, Texas, and Indiana are the four teams to start this year ranked and uh, and not make a bowl game. That's just disappointing and uh, and unacceptable, but. Lincoln Riley is going to have access to a lot of stuff. Obviously, he's got the money. Uh, but let's, let's you know, en enough about the money. He's going to have access to a lot of great California talent. You think of the top, the top states when it comes to recruiting talent. It's Georgia, Florida, Texas, and California. Those are your four big states when it comes to talent. Not every state has great players, but those are the four where you're like, there are some damn good players in those states and Lincoln Riley is going to have direct access to to all those players I'd imagine a lot of people are going to want to come play for him and I'd imagine USC is going to be really good really fast um, I'd imagine that in this upcoming offseason he's going to get going to get some good players now where does USC currently rank in recruiting Let's see where USC recruits. USC usually recruits pretty well. Um, and also, not only is he going to be able to recruit really well, he's a good X's and O's guy too. So he's going to be able to take those good recruits and actually put them to good use on the field, something that Clay Helton wasn't able to do this year at USC. USC just threw it right through. Currently, USC has the number seven ranked recruiting class with one five-star, 14 four-stars, and seven three-stars. That's pretty good. In case you're wondering, the recruiting rankings are number one, Alabama, two, Ohio State, three, LSU, four, Georgia, five, Clemson, six, Oregon, seven, USC, eight, Texas A&M, nine, Notre Dame, ten, Oklahoma. Here's another thing. How many people are going to decommit from Oklahoma? Because what? when's signing day? Is, isn't signing day – when is signing day? Isn't signing day like December 1st? Or it, it's, it's approaching soon, but are people going to decommit from – 
from Oklahoma, now that Lincoln Riley's not going to be there? Are people going to follow him to USC? Hmm. I'm not sure. It'll be interesting, but you, I'd imagine USC is going to be a really good team again uh, pretty fast. They're going to be up there competing with Oregon for the uh, – for the for the SEC title. Um, also, another news: Billy Napier from Louisiana Lafayette was hired by Florida to be the next coach. I think this could either work out really well for Florida, or it might not be the greatest thing in the world because I don't know. You never know what you get when you hire a guy from a smaller like Group of Five school, like Scott Frost and Tom Herman were hired from Group of Five schools. Didn't do very well at their respective schools. We'll see how Billy Napier fares at Florida. Um, I think he'll do all right. But, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about Billy Napier going to Oklahoma in the comments below. Do you think USC is going to be really good, or do you think Lincoln Riley will flop at USC? I'd imagine he's going to do pretty well uh, at USC. Oklahoma kind of got stuck with a knife in their back, though. Um, they're going to have to find a good replacement and fast. But, uh Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.